Tom, I think I met you, it uh, must have been six months ago, in um, Dumbledore's office. Right, yes, Think of course. Things have moved on quite a lot now. Yeah. What's it like being here in a finished uh, Warner Brothers studio tour? I'm, I'm blown away. I mean, I um, more fool me for thinking that Warners would do something uh, small and half-hearted. Yeah. <laughs> quite the opposite. I mean, this is one of the most elaborate, you know, stages, setups that I've ever seen in my life. And, um, you know, I've been here for a while, obviously, but I've still never seen the sets displayed like this in such, such great condition. So I'm... Hugely excited to be back. Is it strange for you to have them all in such close proximity? Because I guess it was never anything like it is now, all put together as Yeah, one I mean, that's the one, the one difference, I suppose, is the fact that this all flows beautifully from set to set, to props, etc. When, yeah, we used to have sort of, uh, you know, Potions Classroom, port a then they got the Great Hall, etc. It was so, all yeah. glamour then. It was all, all glamour. <laughs> this is it. it. Red carpets everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, this is uh, somewhat displayed a bit nicer, yeah. <laughs> is there one set or one part of the tour that you love more than any other? Not really. I mean, every set for me has a kind of a special, um, you know, memory for it. I mean, this is very different to walking around any other kind of attraction or theme park experience because this is the actual stuff... The, the, the dust that you just wiped off with your finger was the actual <laughs> dust in the film, etc. And all these jars and tables. So there's something really um, unique about that. And it, I kind of get shivers down my spine when I walk onto sets that I did when I was 11 years old. And I'm sure fans will get a, a sense of that when they come here. And um, we're in the potions classroom now. Yeah. Is, there, is there a favourite potion that you have? Or, or can, you know, well, these jars? vials are awesome because I'm sure even maybe even the camera can't see, but they look just like generic scribbles and odd things put in there. But every single one has a bizarrely fantastic name, whether it's Dragon's Lung or I don't know. And they seem to put something incredibly realistic in there. So you can imagine here, as a group of 12-year-olds, we were all slightly fascinated with... Uh, what was kept in the jars, so yeah, yeah I'm I, glad they kept them all. <laughs> and it's also intricate, isn't it? Every single one has got design on it. And oh yeah, every single one. I was just mentioning this, this, this potions book that is next to us here. This is, um, you'd expect them just to fill it with yellow pages or something generic, but someone has written, you know, God knows how many pages of uh, magical potion text to help the, the actors get into it. So yeah, it's incredible as a, as a young actor, we were given every opportunity to immerse ourselves in the wonderful world. <laughs> it is astonishing that um, so many people were involved in creating this amazing place. Yeah. Um, do you think that's going to inspire future generations, children that today, that you know, 20, 30 years from now, are going to be doing this sort of stuff in the movie industry? A hundred percent, yeah. It was something actually that Warwick said yesterday, and I hadn't thought about that, but it's, it's so true, because you know, the actors take a lot of the glory, uh, so to speak. We're sort of at the front of the film, and really, you know, our efforts aren't, aren't comparable to, to some of the people behind the set. So I think when people come along and they see how much work has gone into each and every uh, part of the films, they're gonna be really inspired, you know, whether it's the artwork or set design, prop design, costume design, there's so many different um, factors that, that studios have just never let you know, the public in to see how it's all done. So mm. this is really exciting, not only for fans of Harry Potter, but just fans of cinema in general, I think. So I've been here quite a few times. I've been lucky enough to come as, to you see are, it. You're right a regular, man. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> I think this is the fifth time I've been, but, but that shows how much I love it, you know. And well, for sure. Um, so do you, are you ever going to try and come, you know, just a, as a, a regular oh, punter? 100%. And yeah, yeah, I plan to come in sort of Gryffindor disguise, and uh, I just want to see general public faces, you know. When they first come into the Great Hall and they see some of the stuff, I just think, people are going to, uh, you know, it's going to blow their mind. And I, I, I hope to be here to witness it. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you rather drive the night bus that we've got out in the back lot or the uh, flying Ford Anglia? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Rupert's probably slightly better at the Anglia. I'd, I'd, I'd take the bus on, yeah. definitely, even though it's 25 foot high or whatever, but I'll have a go. Zooming around the London streets. Exactly. <laughs> Very <Brilliant>. smooth. <laughs> uh, Tom, it's been a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you Thanks so much for your time. Thanks very much, man. Enjoy.